Welcome to So You Think You Can Write. Is your first page ready to go? My name is Randy Lindsay, and this is our panel of authors who will be looking at the first page of a manuscript to see uh, if it is ready for submission to an agent and editor. And to my left is Brock Boer. Hey, everybody. Janelle Allison. Adrian Quintana. Aaron Blaylock. All right, excellent. So what we're going to be doing is we will be listening as if we were agents or editors. And if at any point we think that we would stop reading, because the first page is a very important part of the submission process, we will hit our buzzers. <laughs> and that would be the point that represents when we would stop reading the manuscript, if that happens. Uh, our submission today is going to be read by Adrian. And today we have Armand is the title. Um, here we go. There was no saving my dignity, not with 13 marbles in my mouth. I, Princess Armand de Lyon, was acutely aware I looked ridiculous and that I was drooling on my second best dinner jacket. Now, if you please, your royal highness, once more, said the royal tutor from his orange satin chair. I hated that chair. I had once gotten sick on it. Aunt Aline had cleaned, then upholstered it pumpkin orange. Just looking at it made me queasy. My tutelage had begun at sundown. The stars now twinkled merrily, laughing at my attempts to cure my speech. Attempts that had lasted 15 of my 18 years. I sighed, tempted to roll my eyes. Father would not approve of eye rolling, even when his heir was being subjected to mouthfuls of marbles. Lifting the small book on my hand, I breathed through my nose, lest the marbles slide down my throat. The prince stood neatly, neat and orderly. I willed the words to form properly in my mouth around the marbles. Gooey, sedewy, weebery, I mumbled. The tutor automatically handed me a handkerchief to wipe the spittle from my mouth. Instead, I filled the, the handkerchief with the wretched marbles. The tutor raised his bushy eyebrows. No, no more, traitorous tongue. Your royal highness, your impediment shall remain with, without proper diligence. The man rolled his R's and crisped his T's precisely, exactly. I have tri to tried everything with proper diligence. I, the words stuck in my throat, refusing to leave. I gaped like a dying fish. Outwards, when the words did come, they gushed, elbowing one another. I will will not to do more. The lesson will fail, as I have. Ooh. No one buzzed. No, no, no one buzzed. No buzz. Wow. Well, that was really well done. Yeah. I wanted to keep reading. I would keep reading. Totally. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason is, uh, well, first of all, you feel for the, the pr I'm not a big uh, Regency type person. At first I'm thinking, oh, it's a prince. I almost rolled my eyes and the camera went, oh, great, I got another prince or princess, whatever. <laughs> but then when you get into the marbles in the mouth and this attitude and the, I hate that I got sick in that chair, you start to see that this is just a human being and uh, somebody you relate to, you're like, okay, I can root for this person. So that's so, why. So like characterization it. comes in very strongly, very strongly on the first page. Uh, and that can be very tough to do, but uh, mm -hmm. this writer uh, succeeded in that. Yeah, good first line too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my my only my only problem, my little, or suggestion, was when she said, "No more traitor's tongue." I wasn't sure who was speaking right there. I, I, I wasn't either. I, I was like, was that the yeah. tutor? Or and that's just so a being read aloud problem, because if you're yeah. looking at it, you can see that it's not. I, I still think I would have uh, some Maybe italic right italicized traitor's tongue, perhaps? Um, I'm not sure. I, that's the thought I would maybe have her do an action before then, so okay. that we're sure it's her. Like, I mean, just she could sit forward in her seat like I sat forward in my seat no more. Or, you know, it's just some action right there so that we know for sure that it's her that's speaking. Yeah, because it, it honestly could be the, um, the tutor. Chair. Yeah. And I like that you, you, there was no question what was happening. Like, you understood the setting without there being a great detailed description of it. You know, we, we had the chair, but right. we know that her and a tutor are in a room, and then she's mm -hmm. going through this exercise that she that she hates. I was a little bit curious about, because we've obviously got a princess who's the heir to the throne, I'm assuming. Well, that um, adds some tension right there. It right. does, but I'm kind of curious about this Aunt Aline, because she cleaned and upholstered the throw-up chair, and that's not a very um, noble thing to be doing, I wouldn't say. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Maybe she had it. You know what? I, I, I went right by it. I liked that that was a little bit of background for this yeah. chair that she hated. I, yeah. Yeah. And showed a relationship between uh, her and her aunt. As Which well. maybe is going to be important. Which later. may be important. Right. 
or maybe that she gets sick often. I don't know. Maybe that's important too. Yeah. You know, there's several things. So. Well, her reactions to things around her made her feel like a real person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, one other thing. Um, lifting a small book in my hand, um, and I wasn't sure that I, so we we're, were told she has the book, but I, I never know why she has this book or what this book is. She's not reading so, the gooey, suey, do. Oh, it's because, oh, because she's reading it. I don't know, but that was funny because I liked that part. Yeah, I, I think she's reading it. I oh, think oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's it's, lifting it's the book the and the prints neat and orderly. And it made you, I don't know, it made me react to several things, like the spittle, and I was all, ugh, but it wasn't like off-putting, I just mm -hmm. was, it, it got reactions out of it. I, I loved it. Yeah, a, a good use of all of well, that's yeah. a good point. Another reason it's good is because it used several of the senses yeah. mm -hmm. are, are yeah. engaged in this piece of work. Just the orange chair gives us the color, mm -hmm. you know, and the texture, with the, so we're feeling it. And, and when she was descriptive, she looped it into the action. We know he has right. bushy eyebrows because he raised them. Mm -hmm. Right. She didn't right. say, you know, my tutor with bushy eyebrows. Right. She, she included it. She did, she did double duty with one sentence. Yeah. It was very, really, very really well done. Yeah. And I'm going to disagree with you guys. <laughs> okay. Let's have okay. it. Let's yeah, okay, you know, um, I'm all about action, killing. Uh, and, it's not, and you know, for me, sitting around with your diction teacher, uh, is that right, diction? Yeah, yeah diction uh, teacher, yeah, sure. That just doesn't, that just it's doesn't. Well, yeah. it depends on the genre, and the genre is not listed, actually, so I wouldn't. That's true. You know, I maybe think we she can feel it right him away. In the first page. That would totally, totally get my attention. Yeah. But you didn't buzz. Right. No, no, because you know, it was very well written. The prose was nice. Uh, there was a really good author voice to uh -huh. it. Right. Good voice, um, yeah. I would have liked to have had something a little more engaging other than uh, reg regular diction. Well, and, but I think because she's the princess, that we do have the conflicts because this isn't just somebody who's, you know, has, it's like she's supposed to be the leader and she can't speak. So I feel like this was a. A that, you know, it was a, a conflict. conflict right I, I could see this being, uh, truthfully, a very good uh, middle grade beginning, you know, uh, I was thinking, a, a I was thinking coming of age adults. type story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There could be middle grade or young adults. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm just trying, because that's how the, the voice feels to me. If this is an adult, maybe it would work, but we, I mean, we don't yeah. have the genre, so you're right. No. If this is supposed to be action, you know, or mystery or something, then that does, that's not the feel that it's. This feels like yes. a coming of yeah. a very uh, a very funny. well begun, fun coming of age story. Mm -hmm. I bet it's going to be a romantic comedy. I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like it. So we'll, no, you don't. But I bet that's what it's going to be. So we'll have to. Hot well, if the, yeah, yeah if hot the, prince. Hot prince is coming. Hot if the if the authors win, they can they can put some comments on for us, and when we when we get this published, yeah. and let us know. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I bet it's romantic comedy. Yeah. yeah. So we think you're set then. Oh, okay. Well, Actually, let's everyone get, does everyone have their um, rating for it? Yeah, they're right. I, I think it's ready. Honestly. Yeah, 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 okay. that's I, th I think it's ready. I go ready. Adrian? I think it's ready too. Yeah, this I, came across our desk. I meant yeah. to say ready. This was the second show, so I'm going to about this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll use your set rating uh, on that. And uh, yeah, you know what? I think I would like something just a little more engaging than diction lessons. Okay, I would say ready, but that depends on the genre uh, to me. If you, you're going to have to make sure you, you submit it to the right people for the right audience. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's a pretty good rate. All right, so um, did we get it right? Or do you think that we, uh, especially me, am wrong on the rating? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do, right down here, there's a comment section. See that? Or maybe it's here. <laughs> I don't know. It's down there somewhere. Write in what you think uh, you thought of the, um, the submission and whether we got it right. You can also go to our website, ready, set, right, podcast dot, uh, I'm sorry, at gmail.com. And that's not right. Oh, that's ready, set, where you can finish it. Dot com. I got it right yeah. the first time. And you can listen to our podcast. You can also find the actual manuscript listed there and, uh, and read it for yourself. And if you think your page is ready, Send it in to ready, set, right, podcast at gmail.com, correct? That is correct. Okay. So, until next time, get ready. Get set. Right. Right.